In a Minecraft social experiment, I have dropped a hundred YouTubers onto three different islands. The plain island, the desert island, and the snow island. Just like in real life, if one of them dies, they are dead forever and banned off the server. It will be completely up to them to shape their own stories. But knowing how YouTubers work, they're all gonna want to be the last one standing. So there is one thing they all know. The last team alive is the team that wins. Lay back, grab a snack, and choose an island to root for. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Nations. Just before we start, if you want to be in events like this one, make sure to subscribe and join the Nations Discord. On that, let's get started. As soon as I let the players free, they all spread around and started gathering resources. Some of them straight up headed for the mines, and others focused on farming to provide food for the rest of the team. This player called Arch took another approach to resource gathering and thought he could get some stuff by worshipping me? <laughs> what is this? Give me things. What is this? Give me things. Who invited this guy? I don't I don't know Ray how to Ray knows what's going on. Ray, Ray and I are what having What is here. going on? <laughs> This Admin is called agricultural his... encouragement to get- it's Why kind of like a rain dance, but this is called a diamond hoe dance. I also went to check on the players that were mining, and you know me, I had to do some trolling. Can you give me diamonds? You're yeah, already rich, I got you. you have I got you. Oh yeah, I have seven diamonds, I'm not even- I got Wait, you, I got you're you. Actually, you're actually going to? Wait, give me diamonds too then. What the hell? He trolled me! All the teams seemed like they were sticking together and decided to stay unified. Apart for the snow team, a group led by only a squid parted away from the main group and were set on being the strongest on those three islands. And we're trying to take over the whole like world, the whole world. Okay. So we don't want peace because we had peace last time? Nah, no, we're good, we're good. For them, the rest of their team were gonna slow them down, and they decided to work alone for now. This though made them look pretty bad for the rest of the team, who saw them as a menace and even had a meeting to discuss how to organize themselves with what was left of the team. Apart from that, everything was going pretty well. A lot of the players had diamond armor by now and even enchanting tables. Can you lift this up? Alright, well... Let me show you, let me show you. Okay, how, how do let I... Let me show you the real... Alright, let me... What?! Let me just... I mean, just. Hey, all right. yo! Alright! Oh, you're ripped! Oh my god! For now, there are borders separating all the islands and preventing players from traveling. But everyone knows that as soon as those borders will drop, it will no longer be safe anymore. And most players' goal was to get ready for that. Most players. Like, Shuf is building a freaking treehouse with Scabbat! <laughs> Soon enough, it was the end of the first day, and on the desert island, everyone gathered at the oasis, where they were planning to start building their base, and they all logged off for the day. Day 2 John, bro, that, Ray, don't do it. Yeah, I saw a ban him. Ban him give me one good oh, reason not to murder John. I know the viewers I want can that. Give you, I can give you a really good reason. I know I the viewers really want John to die. Do not kill John. Listen, I know we have something in common. I did it first. What? Today, all the teams will actually start grouping up and working on their bases. The snow team started exploring their island for a spot to build a base. This thing, a structure or a hostel? And I don't know if either of those exist out here. You think the hostel is breakfast? Ooh. Or dinner. Ooh. I could go for both. You know, if we're starving long enough, I could go for you. I'm gonna... Uh I'm gonna stand just slightly back a little bit. Eventually, they found this pyramid that my map maker made because he, he thought it was funny. His name is Nujo. He, he watches those videos. Hi, Nujo. The snow team decided this was where they were gonna build their base. The other half of the team that was led by Squid were still working alone and monopolized all the sugarcane on the island to have the only enchanting table and probably to have something over the other half of the team. On the other islands, the desert started working on their base and the oasis, and the plains found a spot at the top of the mountain where they started building as well. Let's take a look at what the desert were up to. Well, to get started, Arch should beg me for stuff again. It was also Clown Pierce's birthday on that day. Alright, I'll, I'll blow it out, I'll blow it out. I wish. You can say your wish, no. If you say okay. it, it won't happen. Well, good thing I can write it down. <laughs> the team built an enchanting station, some farms, a shack, and most importantly, a stage, because it was time for them to elect a leader. Everyone on the team gathered up at the stage, and a bunch of players did speeches. So, we're going to war, which is a fact. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, I mean. I got six puffer fish in my inventory. 
I'm sold. Legacy! Clown's good at PvP, but he's got arthritis. He's getting old. His, his, his crits are slower than usual. A bunch of talking in a close up between Fairy MC and Clown Pierce, Clown was elected to lead the desert team. On the plain island, they were also choosing their leader, but there was no election. They had a lower player count because half their team just did not log in, <laughs> so they all bonded together and chose Minutech to be their leader, and just gave him the crown. Talking of the crown, if you're not familiar with Nation, this crown is given to leaders, and has a great power, because it gives whoever wears it two rows of hearts. It's a great asset to have, but can put a huge target on your head. On the snow island, half the team that decided to base at the pyramid did some progress. They started working on some farms and igloos, also gave a mission to this player called Cyan and his friends. Let me explain what's happening. On the desert team, there is this player called Alligator Alex. You see, Alex is my friend, and I love annoying him. In Minecraft, his skin is a goat, and what can you do with goats? You can milk them. And because I know how to code, I made him milkable. Yes, you can, you can call me crazy. I am. So yeah, I totally gave Cyan the choice to go on this mission and did not menace him with multiple explosives. Still. Oh, uh, uh, do not use ex Please don't kill me with exploding cats. Okay, please, please. Anyways, apart from that, the Snow Island had to decide who was gonna be their leader. And for the first time, Squid and his team decided to meet up with the rest of the team and have a proper election for their team. This world is not a world where you could go around trusting people, but it's also not a world where you want to go around picking unnecessary fights. These people I've known for years at this point, and mm -hmm. I know for a guarantee they're not going to be nice to our nation. Both sides argued for a while and decided it was in their best interest to make Squid the leader, as he was the most experienced in combat. Squid getting the leader position did serve well the team. It allowed them to actually unify and start working together. It's gonna be rough, I'll be honest, fighting these other nations. And they will fight us if we don't fight them. So we need to be prepared in any way possible. With that said... Yeah. Everyone have some fun! Yay! Yay. Yes. Full party! party. Squid even placed down the enchanting table his team had as a sign of trust to the rest of the team. Today is the third day. All the islands have now a leader and were well organized. Today the borders will drop and anyone will be able to go anywhere whenever they want, so everyone was pretty stressed. Before the borders opened, the three leaders of the islands decided to have a secret meeting to talk. I don't want to talk to these guys. Look at these losers. Yo, what? Okay, I wouldn't be okay. so hostile with me. I got, I got stuff you might want. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, okay, what do you have? I have quick rabbit. What do you have to offer? So, I'm aware both you guys are men of saturation stew, right? Yeah. Yeah. You guys like to eat saturation stew, right? It's delicious. Yeah. One of my faves. Now, our island was covered in all the mushrooms and flowers we needed, and the past two days we've been mining all of it and regrowing it. I kind of want to make a deal with you guys, if you guys want some. Yeah, yeah. what's, what's your deal? I'm listening, I'm listening. The first one of you to get five kills on the other player's team I'll give you a stack of sats too. You just nice. gotta get five kills on the other person's island first. But hmm. if at any point you guys kill one of my guys, deal's off. If you're hiding under, I'll take your deal, minute. I'll take your deal. Okay. 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 All right. Five desert. Not long after the meeting, the borders between the islands dropped and anyone could go around. And trust me, they did not wait a single second. The snow team PvPers led by Squid instantly started marching to the plain island, probably to steal some resources and food from them. But what I was really interested in was Cyan and his friends, who grouped up and sneakily went to the desert island to accomplish their mission of milking Alex. They splashed themselves with the Invis potions and started sneaking on the island. Uh, yeah, Alex we gotta find like? Alex. Soon, they arrived to the desert base and tried to hide and look for Alex, but he was nowhere to be seen. At the time, Alex was in a cave under the base mining, but they didn't know that. So they tried to get closer, but they got spotted. Yep, I've been spotted, boys! Time to run! Woo! And the desert players were not too happy to see four random guys they never saw before invisibly sneaking on their island. Our four snow friends were now taken hostage by the desert team, who started interrogating them. Okay, yes, I know, you can set your traps up, alright? We are a total friend- Okay, well calm down, hold on. Um, I'm just here to milk a certain alligator. These are my only what? missions. How'd I do? No, wait, please, no, Lord, have mercy. 
Listen, it's not my first time being a prisoner and talking through these sort of negotiations. I I'm used to having people look down on me. Can I kill this guy? Meanwhile, Squid and his crew arrived to the plane island and even found the base of the plane team. There they started stealing stuff from the chest and also found two plane members at the base. So because why not, they decided to kill them. After seeing some plane members dying, Clown remembered the deal Minitech made during the meeting and decided to start executing the four snow members that were on his island. I guess. Please don't do this, I don't have a torch. Please, 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 please. Guys, don't let me die here, please, I beg. Please, please, please don't let me die here. Please don't let me die here. Please don't let me die here. One after another, they all died. But somehow, Cyan managed to slowly dig down and escape to a cave. And you would never guess who happened to be mining in the same cave under the desert base. As long as I can drink this guy's milk, I will be satisfied. This guy's milk is about to get drunk, so I see him. I see Alex. I'm gonna get him. He came within one block of me. I'm going. I'm going after him. Get milked, idiot! Get milked! And die! Oh my god! Oh, you got this! Go! Go! Get him! Oh! I avenged my boys. That's all that matters. I drank his milk. Speaking of milking, if you want to milk Alex for yourself, you can join my public Minecraft server. What? It's a public server where you can create your own town, roleplay, go to war, and even milk Alex. If you want to check it out, the IP is on screen and in the description. Anyways, let's get back to it. Having accomplished Minute's deal by killing the four snow members on the desert island, and seeing that the plane team were getting attacked, Clown told Minute to bring his team to the desert island so they could protect them. The plane team started running to the desert but got intercepted by the snow team who were still bloodthirsty. The snow team managed to kill one more of them. But eventually, the rest of the team made it to the desert team, who went to meet them to the shores of their island. Snow being now overpowered by the two teams combined, decided to retreat and leave it for now. Desert and Plains, both having now a common enemy after the snow members infiltrated the desert base and getting attacked by them, decided to ally and both go back to the desert base for now, where they will be able to work together. After everything that happened yesterday, an explanation was due from the snow team. So the leaders decided to have a meeting again to talk about it. All right, can we uh, can we start, Ray? Yeah, go ahead. All right, all right, clown. Let me let me speak for a second. All right, Squid. Who do you think you are, bro? Who do you think you are coming up to my island, ten wanting all my innocent players, all defenseless players? Bro? Who do you think you are? Then you have the then you have the audacity to leave a sign that says, "No, that's the last, no, that's the last." Bro, we didn't even we didn't even start it. We didn't even start it. We didn't even start it. It's good. Why why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why why do you beef with us? What happened? <laughs> bro, bro, bro. What did we do to you, pal? <laughs> no fighting, no fighting in this room. What are we doing to you, Squid? Well, I'd like to ask, where did five of my members go? Why were they, they all dead? Why clown, were they all dead? Yeah, wait, how is that what minute's is fault? What does this little alliance you two have? Maybe it's your two fault on for one. failing to unify them. It doesn't make sense to me why I should have to fight both of you at the same time. You send five of your guys into our area, we kill them. That's just how it is. You, then you pick a fight with Minitech, and now you come crying to us that we're both teaming on you? I honestly have no idea what they're doing. They're some going on some like religious quest, but okay, they're so... non-combatants. Clearly non-combatants. As soon as I saw that, I took my liberties to make the decisions that I did yesterday. To target Minitech, and he had nothing to do with the killing. You like picking on the little guy? Yes, actually, I do. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we can be bullies too, you know? It's not looking good for Snow. Minute is really mad at the Snow team, and Desert seemed pretty determined to take this opportunity to side up with planes to eliminate them. At the Desert base, everyone was gearing up. They were getting ready to hunt the snow team and make them stop what they are doing. Minute and Clown gathered everyone on their team and started marching to the plane island to rescue the rest of the plane team who didn't make it yesterday. The snow team are not gonna back down now and they're already on their way to the desert island. Unlucky for them, both the teams already left and they were already on their way to the plane island. But that did not stop them from unleashing chaos.
Yo, some some guys shooting on my armor with thunder. Bro, some guy is building pieces with snow. Okay, we gotta let him know that we're here. We try but they didn't stay for too long to not get taken by surprise when the alliance would come back. But on their way out of the island, they got ambushed by both the teams who were returning from the plane island. They did not wait and started attacking them instantly. I've got the whole team, I've got, I've got the whole team on. We're coming back. Wait, I have the dolphin, I have the dolphin. Wait, really? No, wait, 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 wait. I, I could die. Yeah, yeah, yeah waterfall was. I have the dolphin, bad. I have the dolphin. For a second. Yeah. Oh, go there, go there. Okay, we're going. The this is so bad. This is so bad. No, it's not gonna. It's not Yeah, it's over, it's over. I'm... Too many of them are on squid, too many of them are on squid. How many people are there? I'm dead. Wait, if you we can, you have to go underground, bro. I'm dead. Oh, oh, guys. I'm pretty good, Latrix. <laughs> I was trying so hard not to die of arch damage. <laughs> what you guys, I'm... What? The Alliance took out the snow leader squid in the fight and killed more than half of the snow team. The couple players who survived managed to hide and run to the snow island. The Alliance wanted to follow them and end all of this once and for all, but the sun was starting to set and it was soon the end of the session. So they decided to leave it for now and regroup. The Alliance of the two teams were not done yet and had to make sure that everyone on the snow team was killed. After a quick search on the plane island, they realized that whoever had survived yesterday had to have left the island. So they all headed to the snow island and started searching for survivors of the snow team. That's a nice robin, that's a nice robin, that's crazy. After getting separated into two groups, they came across some of the survivors hiding at the snow base and took them out. The other half of the group then chased out another group of survivors. Yeah. Oh, they're right here, they're right here, they're right here, guys, they're coming yeah. to us right now. Hey, Frey, guess what, guess what? Oh! Again, 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 again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Again, again. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Call me the archer, bro. Call me the archer. Again, 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 again. Okay, do, do, do. The minute they caught on. Again, 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 again. He said, he said. Who was it? Do it, do it. I'm trying, bro. Everybody's I'm getting two people. Kills. I don't know who I'm getting. Come on. I'm real. He said, oh. Nice. Yeah. Not many players were left on the snow team, and they were too spread out on the map to locate them. Desert and Plains all regrouped and decided to leave it as it would be a waste of time to track them down. Desert, start your attack. Strike was actually very, very cool. <laughs> GG, bro. There's gonna be another side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, are we fighting? Oh, yeah, we're fighting. Minute, minute. Oh, oh, you're on Deco. Trying to jump me, bro. Whoa, what? Yeah. What this guy up? Oh, that's. Oh, GG. Why? Okay. I got You knew it was coming, bro. Because <laughs> it can only be one winner minute. No, there doesn't! No, yep. there doesn't! Would you rather win alone or win with Wait someone? Wait a minute, are you getting jumped? 
Yes, bro. There no, could have like, been two winners, Cloud. Where are you? Like, there's only squid. one You're dog. You're actually just like Squid. You're there's literally no just like Squid. There's no room. Oh, unlike Squid Minute, I'm gonna win. Clown had all of this set up. He told all of them earlier this day to be ready to betray Plane on his signal. For them, there can be only one winner, and now was the perfect moment to strike down Minute and finish off Planes. Kill table, kill table. I'm sorry, Minute. Lava doesn't hurt. So, Minute, how do you feel? Or like, right now, it does. Very it does could have, there could have been two winners. I don't understand it. No. I'm well, scared for victory. Somehow, Minute managed to make it out of this situation. He got to really lucky and found a dolphin who allowed him to swim extremely fast and escape. That gave him just enough time to tell his team what was happening and let them know where he was. He didn't have much time. The desert team already catched up to him and started attacking him again. He was quickly losing health and gear and his team still needed some time to make it to him. But a player called Gankas managed to make it just in time and give him just enough time at the cost of his life to make it out and for the rest of the team to come save him. Not far away, the rest of the plane team was running towards Minute to help him in the fight, and with them and a couple players from the snow team who they managed to convince to fight on their side, they all fought to their last breath. In a long and complicated fight, the desert players started dying one by one. They tried to escape, but it was too late. Where is our team? Are we all dead? Wait, we're all dead, what? Dude, that's a lot of people. We need to retreat and then go back in a different way. I'm chasing to the ship. I'm just trying to... Oh, no, oh, no, no, no one's on you. Yeah, yeah, grab them off and get out. Yeah. Dude, this Don't take them on the I'm on one health! Help! <laughs> where? Where? Oh, I see you! <laughs> I'm on one health. Go, I see, go, I see, you see it, it. Okay, okay, I okay. can just disrupt. No! No! Fuck. no. Uh, I'm running away from them. I thought, like, a pile of stone things. The plane team by some miracle made it. They survived the attack and killed everyone on the desert team. The only person left alive was their leader, Clown. Clown tried what he could and fought till the last second, but the plane team decided to not fight him and let him live with the guilt. He decided to betray the people they fought alongside with, and this costed him the life of all his friends. We could have had it all, man. We could have had it all. Hey, man. My team let me down, but I'm still here. Um, your team let you down? Yeah. Aren't you the leader? Yeah, and they all died. Um, let's, be, let's be real here. You had the chance to win, and you like greed to get to you. A shared victory is no victory at all, man. I don't know, man. You guys seem pretty scared to fight me on the land there. Clown, you don't know why we didn't fight you. Why? We wanted to let you live with your guilt. In the end, you were kind of right. There could only be one, one desert person left to survive. Did Clown do the right thing? Was it necessary to only have one winner? I ran many experiments like this one on my channel, and every single time, one thing was always the same. It has always been, kill 
or be killed. And this is exactly what Squid and Clown tried to do, but Minute trusted in others. I'll let you make your own mind on who was in the right. Meanwhile, this is everything for the season of Nations. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, share it with your friends, you know what to do. Also, those videos take ages to make, so if you want to support my work, consider becoming a channel member by clicking on the join button below. On this, it's been Ray, and I'll see you next time. For the record, I don't feel guilty. Not one bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay.